Hi guys, let's go on a trip together. I just arrived in sunny Pula and was bracing myself to get out of the car and go film on a cold February day. Today I'm gonna show you four things you need to see while in Pula. Let's just dive in. Of course, the first on the list is amphitheater. As you're walking down the street, this magnificent building leaves you breathless. It's the most famous monument in Pula, built in the first century. Amphitheater is fairly large construction with longer axis measuring around 130 meters. In this amazing central area, gladiator fights took place and the surrounding stone gallery could fit around 20,000 people, which is a large number considering that some of today's stadiums cannot fit that number of people. Local limestone was used in building four levels of arena with the highest point of 33 meters. Amphitheater is located outside of the city walls due to its size. There are 72 arches which just look stunning while the sun illuminates limestone. Just take a second to admire amphitheater in its full glory. A few hundred meters down the road, I stumbled upon one of the four entrances of Zero Strasse. It's really easy to buy a ticket, you just need to follow instructions written on a display. Ticket could only be paid for with card and it costs 5 euros and 31 cents for adults. Just scan a ticket and doors will open, leading you to the tunnel. Zero Strasse is an underground tunnel built during the World War I in case of air raids. These tunnels are located in the center of Pula and could fit around 6,000 people. Throughout the year, tunnels obtain temperatures from 14 to 18 degrees Celsius, which is pretty awesome during the summer. But be careful when walking as water is dripping from the ceiling. Zero Strasse was renovated in 2011 and opened for public. This is only a part of the tunnels built underneath Castle Hill and the fortress. It's estimated that whole system consists of 10 kilometers of tunnels and could fit around 50,000 people. Pretty impressive! As I mentioned, there are four entrances and four tunnels leading to a meeting point. Currently, there is an exhibition about the history of city tram system. Tunnels are fairly well lit, moist and a bit creepy when you walk alone. It was a bit horror movie like with dripping sounds, but we made it to the exit. As we leave tunnels behind, magnificent arch starts rising in front of our eyes. The triumphal arch of the Sergi was built in the 1st century BC in the memory of Sergi family members, the three noblemen as a symbol of remembrance. I'm just gonna leave you with this beautiful shot. We circle back, heading further down the road. Few people on the streets compared to summer crowds feel so refreshing. Lurking around the corner, located in the Forum, the main city square, is the Temple of Augustus, built for Emperor Augustus after his death. Throughout the history, temple changed its function and was used as the Christian church for a short period of time, as well as a grain storehouse. Temple of Augustus is the finest example of Roman architecture during the early empire. This is it guys, we've come to an end. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe for more. Until next time, bye!